Hello and welcome once again to Let's Start Cooking. I'm Wayne, and if you just join us, thank you for stopping in. And today, we're gonna do something a little bit different from what we normally do. Today, we're gonna actually be working with venison. And this venison was donated to me by a viewer who's a local. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bacon-wrapped venison tenderloin with a garlic cream sauce. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna take our bacon, and all we want to do with this is we're going to put it in our oven. Now you can put it in the oven. I'm going to use an air fryer. We want to lay these out and we're going to cook this for only about six to eight minutes. We don't want this cooked all the way through. We just want to cook this enough that it obviously it's not raw, but we want it to be soft enough that we can still wrap it. So the bacon I'm using is just a smoked bacon. Now this has no nitrates in it. This is an actual bacon. So there's no salt in this. It's just smoked and that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this bacon out, we're gonna cook this for about six to eight minutes, and we're gonna get this in our air fryer. So we'll quick get this out, we'll lay it on the tray and we'll get it going. So we're waiting for our bacon to cook. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our other stuff ready. And what we're gonna do is we have two cloves of garlic, and we have about three stems. What we want is about two tablespoons of green onion. So we're just gonna chop our green onion up And all we're gonna do is just get enough, not too tight. You can add less, you can add more. And we'll chop this up a little bit finer once we get going. But we just wanna make sure that we have enough. I'm gonna take our garlic. And just do the same thing. Because all we wanna do is, as we're waiting for that bacon to get done, we just wanna make sure we, now you can use Minced garlic if you want to, if you don't want to sit here and chop this up. Just make sure that your minced garlic is uh, fresh, because sometimes what'll happen is it'll start to turn brown on you as it gets older, and we don't want that to happen with our garlic. So we're just gonna chop this up, we chop our onions up, and we have garlic powder that we separated, and I will have all the ingredients in our description at the bottom of the video. This is gonna be a fairly easy recipe, and you can do this with not only venison, you can do this with beef, you can do this with a pork loin. It's the same thing, we just happen to be working with venison today. Now that our bacon has been cooked, and like I said, we didn't go all the way with it. We just wanted to get the sides to starting to crisp up a little bit, but we wanted it this way because we still have to use this to wrap, and we don't want it to crack or break on us. So the next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our venison loin, I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna rub down our venison loin. Like this. I'm gonna take a little bit of salt. Take a little bit of pepper. And again, you can do this to your taste. You don't have to put a lot on, you can put a little bit on, whatever you wanna do. A little bit of pepper. And then we're gonna take a little bit of garlic powder. And we're gonna do the same thing for our other one that we have. I'm just gonna coat this just so it gives something to stick to, that's all. A little bit of salt. And this is the time that you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting these in the oven when we get all everything done. So once you get these salt and peppered, and like I said, you can put a little on or a lot, depending on what you like. I'm just gonna take a little bit of our garlic that's left. All right, now that we have them done. What I like to do makes it a lot easier is I like to take my bacon and I like to lay it out. Now you can wrap these individually if you want, but I like to put them down like this and then we're gonna roll it up. Now, if we were gonna do this single, 
I would put one, I would just wrap it with a piece of bacon, take another piece of bacon. But we're going to put both of these loins together. We're going to try to keep these together and wrap everything all in one. So if you have a hard time doing this, as long as the bacon is cool and everything else is nice and chilled, you can take a piece of saran wrap, lay it down, lay your bacon on it, then lay your loin on it, and then you can take the whole thing of saran wrap and use it to help you roll. But all we're going to do is we're just going to take this like this, going to keep these together and like I said as you can see we don't have a whole lot to do we're just going to take these run right on around and as you'll notice with when it comes to loins especially when it comes to venison loins or any wild game there's not a lot of fat in in the loins so that's why we like to wrap it in bacon too because it's also going to add flavor to it so we're gonna get these wrapped up and we're gonna put these in a regular roasting pan and it doesn't matter whether it's glass or it's metal. Once we have our oven heated up to 375 degrees, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour. We want this to be about 145, 150 degrees. So what we're gonna do now, we put it in our pan, we're gonna get it in our oven and we'll see you in about an hour. Okay, our venison is out of the oven now. And we're letting it cool down just a little bit so we can actually handle it. And we want it to bring all those juices back in. If we try to cut into that now, all the juices are just gonna flow out of it. And now, you can wrap these completely if you want. You can waste a whole pound of bacon. I say waste, but we never waste bacon. But you can wrap the whole thing in bacon if you want. I just wanna add a little bit of moisture to the meat so I don't have to wrap the entire thing. So while that's cooling down a little bit, we're now gonna make our garlic cream sauce. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna start out with our butter, which is about two tablespoons of butter. And we're just gonna melt that. Now, if you like mushrooms, this is the time that you can actually put mushrooms in here if you want. And you can actually cook your mushrooms and have a mushroom cream sauce. We're just gonna let this melt down. And to this, we're gonna add our garlic and our onions. And we're gonna cook them up. We want these to get nice and soft. And we wanna keep this moving because we don't wanna burn that garlic. And while we're at this point, I'd like to take this time to ask that if you're watching our videos and you've seen our channel before, even if you're new and you, this is your first time, I ask that you like our channel, you subscribe to it, and let your friends know, and leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. We're so close to hitting that 500 subscriber mark to help us on our way to 1,000. So I would greatly appreciate it. And now that we have this cooked down, we're gonna add now heavy whipping cream. And this is what's gonna make our nice cream sauce. And we're just gonna mix this up. Now this is not gonna get thick because we didn't add a thickening agent to this. All we're gonna do is we just wanna heat this up. Now that our sauce is nice and hot and we don't wanna boil this, we just want to bring it back up to temperature. We're gonna take it off the heat. And we're just gonna move this right to the side for a second. And bring in our venison. And we're just for now, we're just going to take off a nice end. I just want to take a little bit off for this, for what we're doing here. And we see it's nice and done inside. I'm just going to flip it over. And move this out of the way. And we're just going to take our sauce. And all you want to do with this really, because it's not going to be a thick sauce because we didn't add a thickening agent. We're just going to add this just to add a little flavor to our meat that we really don't have to, but. All right. We're just going to take a little bit of piece for now. And like I said, we're not trying to thicken this sauce up because we didn't want a thick sauce. This is just to add flavor. nice and tender. You can taste that garlic come through. It's got a little bit of tiny heat with the pepper that we added because I do like a little bit of heat. The bacon kept it nice and moist inside. It didn't dry out. 
It's got a good bacon flavor. And like I said, you can do this with venison, pork, beef, whatever you choose to do with. You can wrap it as much as you want with bacon or put as little as, like I did. Well, you can add mushrooms to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll join us again next week. And I hope you have a great day.